Hey everyone, Mike here. For many of us, Easter's a time to be spent with amazing food, family and friends. And this may be the first Easter that we don't actually get to spend the time with the people we truly care about. So whilst we filmed this video before the UK lockdown, we wanted to still roll it out so that you have some foodie inspo for when this whole thing blows over. And most importantly, we just wanted to let you all know that we're all in this together and through friends, fun, laughter, and collectively drooling over some delicious food, we will come out the back of this stronger. Um, big thank you to everyone who's been tuning into our Instagram lives. Every Tuesday and every Thursday, we'll be hosting cookalongs. So go to sorted.club forward slash cookalong to grab your ingredients list and your recipes. And whilst this is all happening, we may as well cook up a storm together. Thank you so much for watching and please enjoy the video. We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm James and he's Ben. This is Fridge Cam. Now, if you're anything like us, Easter is a time for friends, family, and it goes without saying, good food. And we're going to show you how to cook up a chef-y three-course meal by doing it for our three little Easter bunnies. A few months ago, our three normals cooked us a delicious Valentine's Day meal and we thought it was only fair to return the favour. So with Easter just around the corner, we thought together we would cook up an Easter feast. We're doing three courses, it's going to be super technical and chef-y and I think we're actually going to be put to our limits. But fear not, we are also cramming it full of loads and tips and tricks, so even if the entire feast doesn't quite work out, you'll be a happy bunny. We put the spring clocks forward and we're giving ourselves three hours. You ready, James? I'm, I'm ready. So here's our thinking. Three courses that celebrate spring. The first, a simple soup of asparagus with an edible, crispy bird's nest in the middle made of phyllo pastry and a slow-cooked egg yolk. Up next, bunny and carrots. Slow-cooked ballantine of rabbit with a coriander mousse in the middle. Lots of nods to Morocco with a preserved lemon couscous, a harissa carrot puree, and a pastille of the rabbit legs. I'm starting with the end of our meal, which is going to be hot cross bun flavoured donuts around cream eggs. So when they fry and they open up, they just ooze and are delicious. So the dough is strong bread flour, salt, yeast, sugar, a generous tablespoon of mixed spice, and then we're going to knead that with milk, eggs, and once it's been kneading for a good sort of eight minutes or so, we're going to go in with softened butter to turn it into that soft donut dough. We're going to cover it with a tea towel and leave it in a warm place, our airing cupboard equivalent, for about an hour, hour and a half until it's doubled in size. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm going to break down and debone a saddle of rabbit. So I'm going to take the head off, I'm going to take the front legs off, then I'm going to take the rib cage out, and then I'm going to take the back legs off, and then I'm going to debone the saddle. I've done this once in my whole life before. Very classical, simple recipe for a protein heavy mousse. We're going to do a chicken and coriander mousse to go inside of the rabbit. It's chicken breast, egg white, blended up with coriander and seasoned with salt and then you put it into a bowl and loosen it with cream. Weights and measurements are important because it's the ratio of egg white to protein to cream that means you end up with a delicious mousse. And you can make so many different chicken, prawn, fish mousses using the same method. Do you think it's insensitive of us to do a bunny rabbit at Easter? Do you know? With carrot. I think it's a really fascinating story how the Easter Bunny came to be and how the Easter Bunny delivered oh, eggs. Oh, damn it! Why Have did you noticed? I say anything? Why? Why is it there's a rabbit that's delivering eggs? Rabbits don't lay eggs. Wouldn't it make more sense to be like a, an Easter lizard? What I'm doing now is laying out strips of pancetta onto cling film. I'm going to lay the saddle out onto the pancetta and then I'm going to pipe the mousse into the middle of the saddle, roll it all up, get it really, really tight, put it in a Ziploc bag, and then we're going to cook it sous vide for about an hour and a half. And I'm also going to add in four eggs for the same length of time at the same temperature because we want perfectly sous vide 62 degree egg yolks to sit in our nest. Anybody who's ever eaten rabbit and thought it was a little bit dry or tough, that's because it wasn't cooked this way. By sous vide it, 
at exactly the right temperature. It is still so succulent on the inside. The darker meat of the rabbit legs, both the back end and the front, although we're actually, for this recipe, gonna use four of the back legs because they've got slightly more uh, meat on them, I guess more bouncing. Uh, we're gonna sear them off in oil, then take them out of the pan and add in onion and garlic. Into the softened onions and garlic, we go with cinnamon and ras al hanout. Then apricots, white wine to deglaze the pan, and the rabbit can go back in. I'm just taking the very ends off because there's gonna be no meat or benefit from that, and at least then they'll fit into our little pressure cooker. Just enough to sort of cover it, really. But it's gonna be cooking in the steam, in the pressure, in the pan. I'm gonna carry on with our main course by making a carrot and harissa puree. And for now, I've just sliced the carrots, poured some water over them, and I'm gonna boil them until they're very, very soft. And I've weighed the carrots and I've weighed the water because we want it to be the perfect consistency. Add all the carrots to the blender, harissa paste, and as it's blending, I'm gonna add knobs of butter, and it's gonna to come together into a silky, delicious puree. Pre-bought phyllo pastry already comes wrapped and rolled and nicely floured between each layer. So just slice them into wafer-thin noodle strips and then we're gonna to toss that in seasoned butter, press it into muffin cases and create an edible crispy golden bird's nest. And that's what we end up with. Delicate, golden, crispy, buttery, edible bird's nest. Unlike the original one, a Chinese delicacy, that was made from the solidified saliva of swiftlings. Quite a delicacy. Aside from the rabbit, this main course is super simple. I've got the puree on, now I'm just gonna peel these carrots and then continue peeling into strips, put them into ice water, and they're all gonna curl up, go really crisp, and they're gonna be a beautiful, fresh element on the dish. Next up, I'm starting our soup. So that's gonna be shallot and garlic, finely diced and sweated off in some butter. Add to that some celery, and then asparagus. We're not going to use the very woody ends and we're not going to use the tips, we're going to save those for garnish. But the rest go into the pan along with stock and then we bubble it for about 15 minutes. A handful of spinach at the end helps to give it a real green colour as we blitz it with a little bit of cream and then season to taste. Because we've given ourselves a time limit, the first half an hour of this was pretty mad to get the rabbit on and the last half an hour probably pretty crazy. This bit, calm, chilled out, but the whole menu can be pretty much done in advance. The next element on our main course is preserved lemon couscous. Again, super simple. We're just gonna season some couscous, pour water over it, let it steam until it fluffs up. And then we're gonna take the middle out of these preserved lemons and just dice the skin. The middle is no good, but the skin gives a really nice kind of sour, bittery flavor. We're also gonna use some coriander. Fiddly bit still to come. We've got to pick the meat from the rabbit legs and roll into pastille, and then we have to roll those donuts. Very soft dough around the cream eggs. I'm not eggs. worried, that's all good. I'm only worried about the rabbit saddle. Guilty pleasure at cream eggs, so I might keep a couple back for myself. The rest will wrap in dough. I think this has probably had just over an hour. It's looking fantastic. So now we're gonna pull that meat off the bone, take all the liquid and reduce it down to a sticky, sticky sauce, pour that over the meat, cool the whole thing down, and then wrap them in phyllo into our little parcels. I think now's the time to come clean. We were gonna put softly boiled quail's eggs inside of our nest, but we couldn't get hold of any this morning, so we thought, let's do confit egg yolk. Uh, it's pretty much perfect, but now it's too big to fit in our nest, so I'm gonna try and trim it. Meanwhile, I'll make um, our little phyllo parcels with our braised rabbit leg. I'm just gonna brush the phyllo with butter, fold it over, put a little tablespoon of rabbit leg in the middle, and then fold it up into triangles. I mean, maybe I can be more confident with it, but I just don't trust it. Okay, it's the big reveal. We've got the rabbit out. I'm very nervous, but it's looking okay. This is what they look like now. We're gonna take the cling film off and then finish them in a bit of oil and a bit of butter just to brown the outside, get the pancetta nice and brown. Oh, nervous. We'll get those frying off, turn them occasionally so they're golden all over, and then we'll drain them and toss them in sugar. I really hope they appreciate all this effort. Last few minutes and then it's time to get the first course out. So 
seven up now, hoping they're hungry. I think we're actually gonna do this, but are the normals gonna appreciate it? Right, let's get the table laid and give these boys an Easter feast that at least will be the best thing they've had this year. hungry. Oh, 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 he's even doing it. Oh, he's even oh, doing it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Ben. Left hand side. Oh, oh, that looks incredible. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Easter. Oh, that does oh. all the things I want a soup oh to do. Goodness, that oh. tastes fantastic. Mm. Wow. That crunchy bird's nest and that egg yolk. Mm is amazing. It's probably the best soup I've ever had in my whole life. I swear I should have whispered that because he might have heard that. <laughs> Damn it. So, let me get this straight. We just sit here, have a nice last meal, and we don't slag anybody off. We just have a good time. Oh, this is wonderful. I am ready for a main. Are you ready for a main? <laughs> Ebers, thank you, that was wonderful. That was delicious. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh. Boys, this is spectacular. Look at the colour of that. Cheers. Cheers. I've not seen anything like this before, because like, we've shot a lot of books with lots of fancy food in it. This has gone up and beyond. Well, if that asparagus soup was the most asparagus thing I've ever tasted, then that carrot puree yeah. is the most carroty thing I've ever tasted. Yeah, spicy. They're jam-packed to rub it. Eat the ear. Oh. One thing I would say is, I find it a little bit sadistic, <laughs> the fact that they're serving up rabbit, when clearly the only link is Easter Bunny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's your savory dessert. I'm getting very full. Oh! This is the sort of thing that we would have dreamt up yeah. Um, yeah. And I've tried to execute. And not been able to do it. Failed miserably yet. So are we just picking these up and going straight in? Yeah. Cheers. No. Oh, they're warm. Oh, 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 oh they oh. are weighty. This is the moment I kind of wish I could eat this in private. You know what I mean? I just want no. to. Just... Oh, 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 my God. Oh. Well, now I've seen you do it that way, I have to bite into it. Yeah, bite into it. <laughs> Mm. Wipe your lips, please. Mm -mm. Please wipe your lips. No, you're not allowed, are you? I don't want to look at him anymore. When I go to a, a new place, I love to find a bakery and get there for opening when the pastries, donuts, whatever, even bread is warm and freshly baked. Mm. Like, this is that. And I don't even have to get up at six in the morning. Honestly, stick those in a bakery and I think you'd have lines out the door for them. Come in, come in, grab a seat. We knew you were good, but you know, this is silly. worryingly, this goes to show what you're capable of when we don't get involved. Genuinely, like when people ask us in the future, what's the best thing you've ever eaten? Cream egg I donut. think I'm gonna say cream egg. Really? Donut. I what? can't, I've never been that emotionally involved in a donut before. Hey, happy Easter guys, thank you so much. Well done guys, good eating. Good eating. Good cooking. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our little Easter themed extravaganza. And of course, if you need any extra help, there's always an idea or two in a sorted cookbook. Good plug. Danny Cheesy Wink as well. <laughs> We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. Oh, I forgot my boner. It's in the kitchen. You can go get that in a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> blooper! And we got it. Well done, guys. We are efficient today.